I'm going to talk you through the dissection and screen replacement of the Research in Motion BlackBerry 8100 unit. There's a very severe warning. What I'm about to tell you how to do will absolutely void your warranty. The chances of you screwing it up are great and ruining your entire unit. So now that I've said that, the first thing you're going to want to do is to uh, find a company that will sell you a replacement screen and let's get to it. First thing you want to do is to go ahead and remove the battery access panel in the back then remove the battery itself. At the bottom retaining clip there are going to be four little tabs that are held in place that hold the bottom of the unit in place. Now you're accessing it through the back battery pack. You're going to want to use a uh, small screwdriver to go ahead and depress those and pop them off. Once you've got that taken off you're going to start to remove there are four Torx or Torx screws so you're also going to need a precision uh, toolkit in order to remove those four screws. Once those are off you can use a case separating tool and those little uh, wedge shaped things for, for precision work to remove the two sides. Once the sides are done you'll be able to split the case in half. Once you've split the case in half you're now ready to free up the motherboard and the screen, the actual real guts of the, uh, of the unit. Now that you're in there, you're going to see the screen is attached, um, it looks pretty permanently to the motherboard, and it is, but we're going to get into it. On the top, uh, the top left, if you're facing it, you're going to see a piece of tape, believe it or not, that's holding the ribbon connector to the connectors in for the screen. You're going to take your small flathead precision screwdriver and sort of wiggle that piece of tape off. Everything I'm mentioning should be done carefully, delicately, and non-forcefully. For it's very easy to make one wrong maneuver and then just completely destroy what you're working on. So good. Now that the warning's done, on with the countdown. The piece of tape's up towards the top there. You want to go ahead and separate it. Now, on top of the, underneath the tape, there's a little plastic retaining door that's holding the ribbon connector in place. Using your flathead screwdriver, you want to gently pry that part open. Now, the screen is attached to the motherboard using an adhesive, so we have to loosen the adhesive on both sides. A way to do that is to take your precision flathead screwdriver and gently, gently run it down the sides several times. You just want to make little incremental steps, then you can sort of put it in there and use it to pry it just a little bit off. Once it's done, you've got the adhesive broke, you're going to know that you're going to notice too that there are a, uh, four posts that are part of the back of the screen that adhere into the motherboard. So that keeps it in the right place, the adhesive keeps it from moving, and then of course the tape keeps the connection in place. Once you do that, you just need to wiggle it off and now your screen is free. Simply repeat the procedure with the new screen and your reassembly and you've got your, uh, your 8100 back together, or you've got your you back with a brand new brand new board and things of that nature. So if it's out of warranty, be very careful. The chances of you messing this up and destroying the unit are extremely high. 